next video, I want to illustrate two points. One, I want to talk about body cavities, and two, I want to talk about the fact that when we introduce concepts in a science class, the, the student typically freezes because it's a science concept. They freak out because it must be a hard idea because it's in a science class. Well, I brought my youngest son along, Hunter, who is how old? Almost six. Almost six to help illustrate a point. Hunter, I got a question for you. When you go to after school care, where do you put your stuff? Uh, in my cubby. In your cubby. In your cubby? Is that where you keep your stuff? Yeah. And when you put stuff in your cubby, does it keep your stuff from going into someone else's cubby? No. No? What, stuff goes into someone else's cubby or do you keep it in your cubby? Mine. My cubby, okay. <laughs> what we're illustrating here are the fact that in the body there are cubby holes. Now my almost six-year-old understands what a cubby hole mm -hmm. is. And that's what we're talking about here. We're talking about cubby holes in the body. These are called body cavities and we have two types of body cavities. We have the body cavities that are in the front of the body and we have body cavities that are in the back of the body. The cubby holes in the front, the body cavities in the front of the body are the thoracic cavity. This is the ventral cavity and we also have the abdominal pelvic cavity, the belly. Okay, In the thoracic cavity up here, what, what's this thing that's beating over here? Uh, my heart. A heart. We have a heart in the thoracic cavity. Take a deep breath in. Where'd the air go? What are these things over here that you breathe into? Those two sides. Uh-huh, but what is it you breathe into? My heart. Mm, your heart's over here beating. But when you breathe, what's over here that you breathe into? Uh, I don't know. You don't know? Okay, well you haven't got there yet in kindergarten. It is your lungs. So your thoracic cavity contains your heart, Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, and your <gasps> lungs. Your Mom. abdominal pelvic cavity, the belly claw, <laughs> the abdominal pelvic cavity is actually two compartments kind of pushed together into one, the abdominal cavity and the pelvic cavity. What's over here that holds your food? My belly. Your belly. Okay, we have the stomach, we have the intestines, in the pelvic cavity we have another part, the lower part of the intestines, as well as the reproductive organs. In the back, whoo, oh no, we can't look at ourselves in the camera. In the back we have the dorsal cavity. We have two main cavities in the dorsal cavity. We have this area. What's in here? What's in here, Hunter? That's my head. That's your head. But what's in your head? What's in your brain? What, what do zombies like to eat? Brain. Brains, right. We have our brains in our cranial cavity and down our back we have the vertebral cavity which contains our spinal cord. So once again, let's review. Body cavities are nothing more than cubby holes. They're a place to hold our stuff. We have the front cavities and the back cavities, the ventral cavities and the dorsal cavities. In the front cavities, in the ventral cavities, we have the thoracic cavity and we have the abdominal pelvic cavity. Tickle, tickle. <laughs> in the dorsal cavity, excuse me, in the, uh, yeah, the dorsal cavity, we have the two cavities. We have the cranial cavity, which holds the brain, and we have the vertebral cavity, which holds hey. our spinal cord. Remember, folks, some of the stuff really isn't hard, even if it's taught in a science course. <laughs>